So I wanted to invite uh, Rajasri and Shivan up on stage. Uh, so big round for them. They are our coffee roasters, the room roasters. And uh, so for these coffee hours, as I was talking, you know, we're really uh, focused on building the right specialty coffee. And uh, Shivan, what are saying? So you know, we just wanted to get a, uh, talk a little bit more about what specialty coffee is, so that you know what you're tasting outside. And uh, so guys, take over. Please uh, tell us what, what is specialty coffee. So Stan, what do you think is uh, coffee? Let's, let's we'll get to specialty coffee, but what do you think is coffee? Coffee is love. Coffee is a drug, coffee is addiction. Coffee is addiction, drugs. Same as no. Anyone else? Anybody else? Anybody from the audience? Coffee. 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 Coffee is conversation. Coffee is conversation. I like that. We can take it. Well done, sir. Coffee is violent, right? <laughs> <laughs> coffee is supposed to be violent. Absolutely. Right. But coffee is rejuvenating. Sorry? Coffee is rejuvenating. I agree. I completely agree to that. But coffee, you know what actually coffee is? Coffee is also a fruit. Who would have thought? A cherry. Right. So, I'm guessing all of you have tried some of our coffee over there. Those who haven't, please, please, please if try. If you haven't, there's a fine of 1,000 rupees. That goes to Rudy's coffee house mind. <laughs> right, perfect. So, uh, speciality coffee. Okay. Uh, I would like to go slightly in depth about uh, what is speciality coffee. Um, speciality coffee, in technical sense, is uh, a grade given to coffee. So, coffee, is, as we all know, is a traded commodity. And uh, for coffee to be graded and to be given a certain valuation uh, in speciality, on a scale of 1 to 100, anything that scores above 80 is called speciality. Right? They are, they are scored on various aspects of farming practices, roasting practices, processing, all those things. And we shall cover that some other time in detail. But speciality basically is the best coffee that a farmer is producing, that a roaster is roasting, and a cafe that is growing for you. And that is the supply chain of coffee. So we will now make it very simple and a lot, lot more fun. That was a technical aspect out of the way. So, coffee supply chain. So, do you want to elaborate on the coffee supply chain a bit? Well, uh, my expertise is the third. Okay. The, the final so, 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 okay, right, sorry. Uh, coffee supply chain. Coffee supply chain basically is. Uh, Starts at the farm. So when we talk about uh, the supply chain, we make sure that the farmers know what they're doing. And second of all, we as roasters and cafe owners go to a farm and try to get and source some of the cleanest, some of the best non-insect, uh, non. Uh, like if we all know that how farmers' farms work, work, a lot of the coffee can be reduced and a lot of the coffee can be lost due to bad farming practices. Similarly, we want to get the best farmers and the best farming practices into our coffee. Similarly, when it comes to roasting. Now, as you all know, coffee is a fruit. What is coffee, guys? A fruit. <laughs> coffee is a fruit. Awesome. Right. So, we want to retain the maximum amount of fruit flavor of that coffee while they are roasting. Right? And then the final supply chain and the most important thing is the coffee experience at say a cafe or at your house. Right? That's where roadies come in, that's where you home brewers come in, that's where they just be takes over at most places and you want to make sure that the coffee that is brewed is brewed to perfection and you have to make sure that because a customer will only understand the cup of coffee that is presented to them. They do not know the whole story behind the coffee. They do not know how much effort the farmer put in. They do not know how much education the roaster put in. They do not know what the barista did behind the machine. So the what's most important is that final cup of coffee that you will taste. Also sometimes they don't know all the money behind it. That's true. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's very important. Yeah. Yeah. So we will focus on the third aspect of the supply chain. That is the experience of drinking the coffee. Right? So Sally, would you like to elaborate on that? As we now know that coffee is a seed of a cherry, it's a fruit, so it's supposed to be sweet. And that's what we plan on doing when it comes to roasting coffee, sourcing coffee. And when you're having the coffee at a cafe, it's supposed to be sweet, it's not supposed to be bitter. Like a lot of coffee chains out there are serving coffee that's not the right way. But 
that's not my place to be and not my thing to say. But what we do, what we specialize in is getting, sourcing great coffee, roasting it very well, and then helping the cafe to serve it the best way possible. Right, so the coffee is supposed to be sweet, it's supposed to be fruity in nature. So at Rodi's, that's what we did. We did a lot of training sessions. Uh, all the baristas are trained. There are SOPs set to get consistency all around. So you go to any Rodi's cafe, you go to Punjab, you go to Chandigarh, you go to Surat, you'll get the same cup of cappuccino or the espresso or the cortados all around. That comes down to Sahil. Uh, he's put in a lot of effort for sending, their, uh, sending his baristas across to our uh, office. We've spent days and days training them, training SOPs, and to find the right taste for the market and for Sahil as well, keeping in mind that speciality does not lose what it's meant to be. Right? So that's why training is a key aspect, and that's where Sahil and the whole Rodi team uh, play a major, major part with us. Yeah, so trainings is something that I do, uh, being a SK certified barista as well. So I think that's that's about it. We have like to add that you know, uh, with all this talk about specialty coffee, this is also to encourage you to really expand your experience with coffee. So a lot of times we limit ourselves to a cappuccino or uh, you know a regular cold coffee that's the easiest thing to order. So we recently opened in Gujarat, and you won't believe the number one selling coffee drink there is coffee and tonic. Right? You would have thought that the, the flavors and the uh, menu offerings are expanding so much that I think it's for us to really take advantage of all the coffee that's available. So yeah, please do keep uh, tasting our coffee and give us feedback. We'd love to learn and uh, have your reviews. And uh, do meet us outside. Yeah, we were serving pour over outside. That's one of the major reasons we are serving only pour over tonight. When the road is dead. So yeah, see you guys outside. And then maybe you guys try some coffees. Right. Thank you guys. Thank you for having me. Thank you.